Ben and I are heading to infinity and beyond, beyond, beyond. We are playing Infinity Runner, an endless runner to end all endless runners. This game is available on the Xbox One as well as the PlayStation 4. Ben, what did you think of this Infinity Runner? Well, it's an endless runner, and we've it is. played- It's an infinity runner. We've played, it is technically an infinity runner. We've played so many of these endless runner games, mostly on our phones and tablets. Yeah. So it's interesting seeing one come to the consoles. This was actually on the PC as well. And I was interested, how are they gonna make this work? How are they gonna make us run infinitely without really having the touch controls that we're so used to with these kind of games? And the answer is, they're just gonna put it on a gamepad and it's gonna suck. Yeah. That's, that's their answer. That's pretty much it. They're gonna make it suck. Yeah. Uh, this game is terrible. Literally, you are a naked guy, and you are running through space tubes. Wait, space tubes on a spaceship called the Infinity. The Infinity. You're and the you're Infinity running. Runner. The spaceship is called the Infinity, and you're running for Infinity. There was a point in this game, I was about two, three minutes in, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna try the Endless Runner, because it's an Infinity Runner mode. There's uh, seven levels that you can go through in this game, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try the mode where I can just run forever. They have these crazy space jumps where you're jumping from like bridge to bridge. I jumped in space six hours. I was up in the air for six <laughs> hours. I did not come down. I thought I, I was gonna like eventually hit the ground. I mean, I, look at, look, here's like for the first like five or 10 minutes, here it is. There's me in space. And then six hours later, I was still doing that same jump. I never came down. I thought that it was just like the biggest jump ever in the history of a video game. I went to bed. I woke up, I was still in this jump. Wow. I unlocked all the trophies though, it was great. You found a world record setting bug. I just thought you were that badass of a naked guy. You could just jump in space and never have to worry about coming I'm just down. impressed that you actually found something cool and fun and interesting in this game, because I couldn't even find that. Whoa, I whoa. mean, come on. Yeah. You can become a werewolf in this See, game. but that bummed me out, because when I was looking at the art for the game and I was all excited when I was buying it on my Xbox One, I'm like, look at that, it's a space werewolf. Upon finding out that you're a werewolf and that you're being hunted down as soon as you come back to the real world, but otherwise pretty good. A space it wolf. looks like Saber Wolf too from Killer Instinct. It does. I was like, cool man, He's I'm gonna, gonna be running combos. and I'm gonna punch that dude in the face. I'm gonna stab him with something silver and I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna keep running. No, you don't actually see a werewolf. Yeah. You just turn into one. You get werewolf claws. You get, you get little two hands. Little paws. Yeah. And the worst part about that is when you become the werewolf, you don't have to do anything. No, you your just guy just charges, automatically. He's yeah. like, oh, there's an enemy. You can jump on walls. That's scripted. You don't get to choose when you want to do that. It's like if you don't do it, you're green pad, jump on the wall. You're gonna fall into a pit. The problem with this game is not just that it's kind of lame looking and kind of lame playing. It's, you know, you're just being shoved forward and you're just kind of choosing directions. It's that it doesn't really work very well. Like you don't really know when you're supposed to slide or when you're supposed to jump. You learn those things over the course of the story through so trial and error. There's a learning curve. So you just kind of like learn what the moves are you have to do through each of the story levels, which are, it's a very All short story. Levels. Yeah, it's a very short story. Seven, there's two sections to each level. The last level is Biodome and there is no Poly Shore. <laughs> you think that's a bad thing? Totally. Imagine yeah. if the last boss was Polly Shore as a werewolf. Okay. I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with Endless Runners. We've played lots of good ones. Temple Run is Temple lots run. of fun. I'll play the hell out of Temple Run. Put and Temple Run on consoles. I'll play that. I mean, there are fun Endless Runners. There's fun things you could do with them. Make it interesting or stylish. Make it look really cool. This game is none of those things. It's a gigantic spaceship called the Infinity that you're running through. It just doesn't make any sense. You gotta do something interesting with Space Werewolf. They don't do anything interesting with it. They don't do anything interesting in this game. Infinity Runner, what are you gonna give it? One out of 10. I'm giving it a two out of 10. I do like wolves.